Today we're checking out the behemoth sized Dell Ultra Sharp U4323 QE 4K USB-C hub monitor. We'll talk about who this is for, who should not buy it, and give my overall opinion on whether I think it's worth the money. Let's roll that unboxing. The U4323QE is a monster-sized 42.5-inch 4K IPS monitor and currently retails for $1,309.99. Its LED backlit can get up to 350 nits and is equipped like most Dell monitors with Comfort View Plus which helps to reduce blue light. Because of its IPS display, you get a nice wide 178 degree viewing angle, though I'm not sure you're going to need it with a monitor this big and has a large anti-glare matte display for those lights or windows that can sometimes be a pain. It is height adjustable, can pivot, tilt, and swivel. It stands 38 inches wide, has a depth of 10 inches, a height of 25.8 inches when extended, and weighs in at 41 pounds. Because of its size, you get dual 8-watt speakers instead of the typical 5-watt speakers, and it doesn't sound half bad. Taking a look at the connections on the back from left to right, we have your power connector, two HDMI ports, two DisplayPort 1.4 connections, a USB-C upstream port with 90 watt charge, an audio line out, three USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 upstream ports, three super speed USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A ports, and an RJ45 ethernet port. Underneath there's a pop-out tab that has a USB-C port with 15 watt charging and a USB Super Speed 3.2 Gen 2 Type A port. It is 100 mm by 100 mm or 200 mm by 200 mm VESA mount compatible, but you'd better have a pretty strong mount. If you're finding this video helpful, be sure to not only hit that subscribe button and notification bell, but use the links in the description where I list the best of everything I use. It really helps to support the channel. So after spending a bit of time with it, I have to ask myself, who exactly is this for? Well, let me start off by telling you who it's not for. Number one, gamers. I haven't seen any specifications anywhere that document whether the HDMI ports are 2.1, but even then that would be pointless for next gen consoles as the monitor can only get up to 60 hertz. It's also on the slow side for competitive gaming in response times as fast mode only gets you five millisecond gray to gray, while normal mode gets you eight. And there's no HDR support, so colors won't pop the way you'd want them to, and if you're going to spend $1,300 on a TV-sized monitor, you might as well get an LG C2 or upcoming C3 OLED TV. Now one of the big drawbacks for me, and this is going to affect gaming, movies, browsing, really anything, is the low pixel per inch count of only 103.6. In a 4K monitor of this size, I should see absolutely no artifacts due to pixel density, and unfortunately that's just not the case. You will definitely notice it. And when it comes to color modes, it's really only got standard and the ability to change color temperature and adjust your red, green, and blue. And while it does come factory calibrated with a Delta E minus two and 95% sRGB color gamut, for the price, there are just way too many options out there with better color performance for content creators, photographers, and videographers. The only real situation I can recommend this monitor would be for those who need its ability to switch via KVM with up to four different computers and use its different partition modes to display up to four different screens at once. 
Now that's probably going to be a small segment of people out there, so if you need to multitask with various computers at the same time, this may fit the bill. But in just about every other case, there's almost certainly going to be a better option out there. Now let me know in the comments what you think of this monitor and if even despite its drawbacks, you're still going to buy one. If there's a reason I missed on why you think this monitor is worth it, feel free to educate me in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up, but that's going to wrap things up for today. So until next time, thank you for watching, stay tuned, and have a great rest of your day.